is there an evolutionary explanation for phobias to lizards, spiders, snakes, etc.? And if it is or used to be beneficial to fear them, why are some people deathly afraid while others aren't too bothered? Thanks for everything you do. So this question will have come in after we answered that earlier question about snakes, and I think it it, it plays right into it that um, basically um, most places where there are snakes, some of those snakes are going to be poisonous, and it's uh, easier and safer to have an across-the-board phobia. You know, I've been places where there were some very, very wrong beliefs about, um, you know, for instance, one place I spent a field season in uh, southeastern, can't remember, some someplace in Costa Rica, um, suggested that boas are baby uh, crotalids or baby pit vipers. And so if you kill boas whenever you see them, you will decrease the population of pit vipers. And of course, this has no truth whatsoever. And the boas there don't grow big enough to cause any harm to you. And you really should not be um, killing them. But people would hack off, would hack up boas with machetes whenever they saw them. Uh, and this is really, really unfortunate. Um, but it did speak to this larger truth that actually there, the pit vipers, of which there were several species, could be deadly and uh, and they were dangerous. And hacking them up when you saw them, although not something that I ever did, um, did probably leave more people around um, if they managed their you know the, the spaces around their houses like that. Um, I have this I have this silly thing that I I say that I think just in my anecdotal experience, um, the people seem. People who you know live, who grew up like we did, you know, without having to be forced to regularly worry about uh, organisms like this actually uh, getting into our homes and causing causing harm, um, tend to have a phobia of either the things with very very few legs or a lot a lot of legs um, that a lot of us don't particularly like spiders, but are quite enamored of snakes and vice versa. Um, and I see no reason why this would actually be true, but I sort of enjoy recognizing this in people when. Uh, when I see it. Yep. I am of the camp that fears things with odd numbers of legs. Odd numbers of legs. Odd so of after legs. the cat has bitten a leg off a spider, then then you become a feared. However they get there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I will say, I think the general answer here is one of the magical things about the way our minds work and develop is that we may have a, a prejudice that's built in, like there may be an underlying prejudice against snakes, because if you don't know something about a snake, um, there's a danger that it will be dangerous to you, and there's a limited value of uh, you're encountering the snake and not worrying about it. Now, of course, if you eat snakes, that's different. So mm -hmm. basically, you want to be able to reschedule these things based on where you are. A general fear of snakes in a place where there's no dangerous snakes. Maybe snakes are a safe food source in a mm -hmm. place where um, some snakes are dangerous, but most aren't. Maybe you need to get really focused on which snake you're dealing with and think about where you're putting your feet. Yep. Um, so there's every reason to have the software be flexible um, and some basic uh, prejudice against things that are sometimes dangerous, like spiders, for example, makes some sense. It also makes sense for you to be able to develop a fear of something that comes to be frightening to you through information, right? Like something you wouldn't fear that you realize is more dangerous than you think. Like, you know, you and I almost got caught in a flash flood uh, when we were in Costa Rica during uh, an early field season. So I've never looked at rivers the same way mm -hmm. after that. I, you know, I saw something. Um, but you can imagine the software is flexible for every reason you would want it to be, and that means that you can get bad stuff in the software and you can be irrationally afraid of something that isn't really a hazard or is a hazard yep. so rarely, like, you know, airplane crashes is yep. a hazard so rarely that um, any, to whatever degree you are dissuaded from doing something because you're afraid of being in a in a airliner crash, you're making an error. Yep. Um, so, you know, flexibility is good, but it leaves open the possibility of bad programming that's arbitrary and that's not good. Yeah, no, ab absolutely. And I guess just one more thing here. Um, <clears throat> I don't think any of these examples that are given in the question, lizards, spiders, and snakes, and of course, as we said earlier, snakes are a type of legless lizard, um, have the capacity to spread disease to us. Um, I don't think any spiders can, but all spider, correct me if you think I'm wrong, but I think you're I thinking can't think it. of any yeah. example. Um, all spiders do have venom, so all spiders can envenomate, but most of them don't do so in any in any way that's going to cause anything but a small, a slight irritation. And of course, most spiders are small enough that they'd be hard pressed to get anything into you. 
With regard to lizards, though, you know that subset of lizards that aren't snakes, um, there's only one or two venomous lizards at all. So the idea of being scared of lizards um, in any way is actually is is the surprising one to me here. And I you know I say that as just someone who's a huge fan of lizards, um, but it makes me wonder. You know, get, sure they can they have a bite, and you know you got to know how to handle them if you want to handle them. Um, but um, I don't think that other than the one or two species, I just can't remember if it's one or two, of actually venomous lizards, non-snake lizards, um, if they're not actually potentially vectoring any diseases, I don't think they do. So there's like, there's lizard malaria and there's human malaria, but I don't think like an Anopheles mosquito that yep. bites one can bite the other and 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 transmit lizard malaria to humans. I no, don't they think can, that can happen. They can uh, tear open your skin, some of them, and cause right. an infection, but they sure. don't, they're not vectoring disease. I don't, I don't think, so, so the lizard one is actually the, the surprising one to me on that list, unless people are, you know, correctly intuiting the phylogenetic connection, which I, you know, I doubt, which is that, um, snakes are lizards and therefore just, you know, be wary of all the squamates. 